Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Matt and you are watching my hair transplant channel which is all about stopping our hair loss, getting our hair back and hair transplant. In this video, I'm going to talk about Dr. Suji from Japan and his potential anti-hair loss cure which can literally cure your baldness. First, I'm going to talk about the cure itself. What is this cure all about and why it has actually potential to cure your baldness? I'm going to talk about what has been actually done since 2012 until now in terms of researching hair cloning by Takeshi Suji. And third, the most important point I'm going to talk about probably for you guys, how far are we actually from commercializing this treatment and can this happen anytime soon? It all started out in 2012 when Dr. Suji published a study on hairless mice where he and his team were able to successfully clone and multiply hair follicles. Well, how did they do it? Let me simplify this for you. First, they extracted a skin tissue with healthy hair follicles in it. They started to observe the hair follicles in this skin tissue and they realized that there are two types of hair cells which are conducive for hair growth. The first type of the cell which is located in the upper layer of the skin is called epithelial cell and the second type of cell so-called dermal papilla cell which is below in the lower layer of the skin. When these two cells come together hair growth is induced. Or let me put it this way there is a hair germ which will start to build underneath the skin as a result of these two cells coming together. What they basically did is that they separated several thousands of these two types of cells out of this one square centimeter of skin tissue with healthy hair in it and they started to cultivate these two types of cells in a petri dish out of the body in a lab and after 21 days new hair germs started to form new hair. They were able to create 10,000 new hairs, new hair germs, which are about to produce new hair, only out of one squared centimeter of skin tissue. So imagine how much hope this can give to any guy who is balding or who is who has no more hair on his head. Now let me talk briefly about what is actually going on in the labs of Japan where the scientists together with Dr. Suji are working on this potential hair loss cure. They already announced in 2012 that they were able to successfully clone and not just hair follicles but skin tissue, organ tissue and glands. Why aren't we much closer to the commercialization of this cure than we really are? So what Dr. Suji now claims that he's able to do with his team that he's able to implant the newly cloned hair follicles and these hair follicles will also preserve their hair growth and hair loss cycle which means once they fall off the new hair growth cycle will start and the, the follicle will grow again. So you will not need the new implantation of newly cloned follicles or something like that if you know what I mean. Meanwhile there were also two more companies which started to be included and involved in this process of stem cell development by Dr. Suji's lab which is called Riken in Japan. The first one is called Organ Technologies and the second one is called Kyocera. Kyocera is basically specializing in technology and is supplying devices for Suji's stem cell development. And here is one interesting news release I want to share with you which has been released by Organ Technologies themselves in 2018. Again it was in June or July and here they are claiming that they will start human trials in 2019 after successful implantation of the hair germs onto hairless mice. 
So far, we don't have more information on this phase of the research until we don't get an update on a successful confirmation of animal trials. There will be no human trials starting out anytime soon. And this unfortunately still hasn't been confirmed by Kyocera, Suji or Organ Technologies. How likely is it for this treatment to become commercialized anytime soon? Well, here's just my opinion and you don't have to agree with it. It feels like we are very, very close, right? The only thing which is missing is implantation of these cloned hair germs on a human scalp. Well, why is this not happening yet? And this is the problem what I see with this research for now. I hope it's going to be solved very soon. What I think that is happening right now and also the reason why the human trials may be postponed this year they, and it's the following. For hair regenerative therapy it is critical to consider whether bioengineered hair follicles can regenerate normal inherent traits, physiological functions such as hair shaft types, qualities and cooperation with the tissues which they are growing on. And we shouldn't also forget about allergic reaction, cancer and tumor building. And I think this is one of the problems that they are struggling with at the moment. And that's also the reason why the human trials, which were supposed to start this year, may be postponed. But let's assume that the human trials will start by the end of this year or maybe next year. If there will be proven success, I think that we can get this treatment in Japan because Japan has this interesting legislation when it comes to new treatments. They only need one successful human trials in order to fully commercialize any type of treatment. And we have already seen it by Replicel, which is also a hair rejuvenation treatment, which only had like one successful human trial and Japan is almost ready to commercialize it. But there are still some things that needs to be cleared before though. I cannot really tell you what is going to be the year when we will see the commercialization of this potential cure, it can be 2022, it can be 2025, it can be 2030. Worldwide, I cannot even tell, man. I mean, if we take a look at the commercialization of finasteride, I mean, it was patented in 1984 and it was ready for medical use in 1992 when it was also approved by the FDA. Here is the signal we have to be waiting for anytime soon, I hope. When either Organ Technologies or Kyocera or Dr. Suji himself announces that the human trials will be launched, this is going to be great news, guys. I'm going to be really happy and I want to see the results, the density, how natural the newly implanted germs will grow and how... What kind of structure do they have? Do they have a similar structure? Do they adapt a new structure when once they will be implanted on a different bald spots? I'm very curious about this. Let me know what you think about this research. What do you think about this potential anti-hair loss cure? Are you skeptical or are you a big, big believer? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Oh, by the way, for all the new guys who have never watched any video on my channel, my name is Matt and I have done a hair transplant about two years ago and this is how my hair looks like right now. You can see the before and after picture right here and what I'm doing right now, I'm basically helping out guys with hair loss to get their hair back. I've been researching many hair transplant clinics worldwide for the last two years. Make sure you get my free ebook, five things I wish I'd known before my hair transplant. Several tips and tricks you can use by your hair transplant research to avoid the bad hair transplant clinics and end up in hands of a very experienced hair transplant surgeon. For all you guys who are seriously considering hair transplant or maybe just want to save a lot of hours of extensive hair transplant research, make sure you contact me and sign up for my consultation on my website where I'm going to share with you all my secrets and I'm going to help you find the best hair transplant clinic for your selected price range based on my two-year research on all these clinics and surgeons. 
Guys, other than that, thank you so much for watching until this very end. Make sure you also subscribe, like this video and follow me on Instagram in case you are also interested in getting to know me on a more personal level, see my stories from my travels, what I like to eat, my trainings and stuff like that. I'm going to also appreciate it and I'm going to look forward to any DMs from you on Instagram. Thank you so much and we will see each other in the next video.